Hello everybody, this is Mike. Welcome to my channel, Mike the Tech Savvy. Today I'll present the latest optimized Lineage OS custom ROM 4D international version of the Samsung Galaxy S4. So this is the stable 5 version and it has the latest July security patches. It has the same general look and feel as the previous versions, so nothing new here. But I can tell you that it feels a bit more smoother and why not a little bit more battery friendly. This is perhaps more of an evolution than a revolution. So it optimizes the previous versions quite a lot. Right now I really believe this is a true daily driver. I won't go through all the features and through all the menus, I'll only focus on what's important. So let's start off with a short installation guide. I'll boot up in recovery. As a prerequisite you need to have the latest TWRP installed. It will launch just like here. You can see the latest version, 3.1. I'll show you right now how to dirty flash over a previous optimized Lineage OS version. It's quite simple. You simply click wipe, advanced wipe. You select from here the Dalvik cache system and normal cache and you just swipe to wipe. Afterwards, make sure you go through the following procedure. Install, select the folder where you have the zip file with this ROM. Make sure you've downloaded the OpenGApps package as well, otherwise you won't have any Play Store functionality on the device. And afterwards you can simply select the package that you want. This is the latest one from the 11th of June. And swipe to confirm flash. What I have here is the Aroma version, therefore I can customize the installation a bit more. So July 2017. Here are the, the changes that come with the stable 5 version. As major updates we have the updated security patches to July 2017, an updated Super SU, an updated Alucard kernel and some other updates which aren't that visible but I can assure you that they provide a lot more stability and they prolong the battery life of the device. So you simply go and click next. Now install the ROM. You can either select the Alucard kernel if you want some additional features or the stock kernel. I've installed it with SuperSU. I find it a little bit better than uh, the Magisk version. I usually do not install any audio tweaks or any additional launchers. The Trebuchet launcher is more than enough for me. Now you can choose to install the AOSP camera or the Snap camera. Both work really well in this version. And you can also choose to install Mi Explorer, a very nice file explorer. Afterwards just click install ROM. After the whole procedure has been completed you will be thrown back to the TWRP recovery. So right about here. Now you have to simply wipe cache and Zolvik. Afterwards install the OpenGFs package. Make sure it's the most recent one. Wipe cache and Zolvik once again. And then you can simply reboot the device. We have a new more interesting wallpaper in this new stable 5 version. I'll show you right away that we have Android 7.1.2 and the July security patch level. I've also done the two benchmarks that I usually perform. So in a to do, we have a score of around 29,000, which is under the score obtained by the previous version of this ROM, the Stable 4. 
and in Geekbench you can see the scores for yourselves the scores are very similar compared to the previous version both of them, the CPU and the compute scores. Anyways, these scores do not mean very much in day-to-day -day usage. I can tell you that the device feels really snappy. And because of these incremental optimizations that the device has had, the thermal management of the Snapdragon SoC is way better than beforehand, so the device doesn't heat up that much right now. There are some uh, optimized Lineage OS settings as well. Here you have the Super SU app and the S Tweaks app, of course, which you can use to tune up your device in whatever way you find suitable. So you have CPU settings here, overclocking, underclocking, you can change the voltages. There are lots of settings here that you can tweak. Of course, everything that you see here can be searched on Google and you'll find more details. So I suggest you not to mess with these settings if you don't know what they mean first research and afterwards you can perform the changes and see what kind of benefits do you get from these changes also there are some extra options here but I can also tell you that the RAM usage is very good the ROM does not waste any free RAM I know that on our Samsung Galaxy S4 we have only two gigabytes of RAM so it needs to be conserved as much as possible most definitely this is the best version of this ROM so far plus you get the latest security patches which makes it a great ROM overall if you're on a previous version definitely dirty flash the latest version and you surely won't be disappointed. I'd like to thank the developers as well for continuously updating this ROM. They are doing a fantastic job. And I can tell you already that for sure we will have an Android O version of this ROM. Of course, when it's live, be sure I'll make a video review about it ASAP. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please do press the like button. And if you'd like to stay tuned to my content, also press the subscribe button, which will be displayed in the bottom left corner. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment box below. I wish you a great day. This was Mike the Tech Savvy. Until next time. Bye.